Alright guys, I'm starting out episode 2 and like, I am feeling great right now. I've got 138 subscribers, my last video got 1300 views in the first day, like, this is just insane, that's like more than my whole entire channel's had, so like, I'm feeling good right now. And uh, I'm gonna start this out just by getting 40 agility, so let's get this real quick. There we go. Now we can go to the cannabis course. I gotta beat the priest in the peril. And uh, that'll give me a little bit of prayer experience too. And also, that's like one of the steps for the backpack and I wanna get the backpack soon. All right guys, we just beat priest in the peril. Got me to 35 quest points and also 23 prayer. And I'm 44 combat already. Oh, and we got the cannabis course too. So I'm excited about that. Just wanted to test out the new course at cannabis. Ended up getting, right here it is, 42 agility. So, I didn't want to knock it all out at once, so it's got a couple levels. Alright guys, just beat Merlin's Crystal. Got me 6 quest points in the Excalibur. And now I can do the Holy Grail. So I think I'm going to do that next. We just beat the Holy Grail. Ended up getting us a 11k prayer experience and 15.3k defense. So let's see what it got us to. 32 prayer. And 33 defense, 48 combat. Man, I'm getting up there. 520 total level, also. Alright, guys, here we go. Just got 30 thieving. Just kind of wanted to even it out. Thieving's like one of my most hated skills, so I kind of want to like slowly get that up. Man, I hate to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and sell this clue tab, like see what I end up with. I got pretty lucky with the Iron Plate Buddy G and the wooden chill G so let's see how much we get off of it alright guys I sold off everything and it was uh 633k the shield was pretty much it was like 30k lower than it said it was but still that was pretty awesome money plus we have 84k cash so 717k I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy some runes and I'm gonna go mage and blue dragon so I can get my prayer up for free Alright guys, I did 5 loads of blue dragons, ended up getting 57 bones and hides. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these and get like an extra 40 bones, so I'll have like 100 bones. I think that's 26k experience, which would get me, I'm thinking around 40 to 43. But I'm going to save those for a little bit, I'll probably collect some more bones later. But yeah. Alright. So I needed 19 Slayer for Animal Magnetism. Got my first task. Oh, there's 44 Mage. And it ended up being Bats. So I found this spot south of Camelot. And you can save spot them. So I'm going to see what Slayer I get off this task. I might have to get another one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get at least one more task. But yeah, we'll see what we get to. Finished that task of Bats. Ended up getting 45 Mage and also 11 Slayer. But I'm going to try a task out from this guy and see what we get. 11 vampires that's a pretty terrible task so I'm gonna have to walk to cannabis to go do that ended up beating that slayer task got a whopping 13 slayer now <laughs> let's see what we get next 72 cave crawlers those are in the slayer dungeon and relica I think I'm gonna go try those out see how they are last kill of the slayer task I ended up getting 18 slayer and also got 44 attack. So, got that requirement. All I need now is 35 wood cutting and earns the chicken and I can go for that backpack. So, I'm gonna go for that wood cutting real quick, get that out the way. All right guys, just got 40 wood cutting instead. I know I only needed 35, but there was a couple other quests like Fremnic Trials and Lost City that I needed 40 wood cutting for. So, just decided to stop here. Oh, and by the way, I ended up getting a palm tree seed and an acorn, and the palm tree seed was 70k. Just got that from a random nest that fell out of the tree. This was the last requirement for animal magnetism. Got me 4 quest points and uh, put me up to 47 quest points, so all I gotta do now is get that backpack. Alright, we did it. Got animal magnetism beat. Got me a thousand crafting experience, fletching, and slayer, and also 2500 woodcutting experience. And put me up to 48 quest points. Let's see what it got me 20 slayer, 9 fletching, and that's all. 
Still. That was definitely a sweet quest to get out of the way. We can only get the attractor right now, but here in a couple more levels we'll be able to get that accumulator. I feel like kind of doing some skilling right now, so I bought 280 guams and iron newts, so I'm going to make 280 attack potions. And uh, I'm starting at 11, we'll see what it gets me to. Alright, so it took more than 280 potions, but I ended up getting 30. It cost me 18k and about 20 minutes, so kind of evening out my stats. Oh, I got 600 total also. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Just clicked off of it on accident, but ended up getting 30 fletching. 621 total. And I think now I'm going to go to some more quests. Like, I know I don't, I don't really feel like it, but I feel like that's definitely the way to go. I've got 48 quest points. I need to boost these up. Alright, guys. I'm about to finish up the dig site real quick. 15k mining experience. 2k herblore. I'm like excited to see like what mining level I got to. I went from 21 to 34. Dude, that gets me to like the mother load mine and everything. So, that's a nice quest to get out of the way. It only took like 20 minutes. Just finished the Night Sword. Got me 51 quest points and 12.7k experience in smithing. Which got me from 1 to 29. So, I think I'm going to do a... Uh, Either Dragon Slayer or the Elemental Workshops. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet. Alright, just got Elemental Workshop Part 1. Got me 5k crafting and 5k smithing. Got me to 32 smithing and almost 39 crafting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that Elemental Workshop Part 2 while I'm down here. And we'll see what that gets me to. Just beat the Elemental Workshop Part 2. Got me 7500 smithing and 7500 crafting. Also, 53 quest points. Let's see what levels it got us to. 36 smithing. And 40 crafting. Dude, that is crazy. Like, those were like... 10, 15 minutes both together, so... I've went from 1 to 36 smithing in like... Half an hour. Definitely worth doing those quests to start it out. Just got my first clue from some hand members. I think I'm gonna take a break from some questing. And, uh... Do a couple easy clues. See if we get like any pages or anything. Alright, we got the first easy casket. So, uh, I wonder if this episode's gonna start out lucky. Like, I don't even know if it's possible considering like what I got last episode, but let's see what we get. Oh, cool. Ancient robe legs, uh, amulet of magic. 63k it says. Dude, I've got like super lucky off easy clue scrolls. Alright, just got the second casket. Let's see what we got. Oh, ancient page 4, 111k. Man, the luck is just uh, rolling. Was working on another clue, just got 46 magic. 675 total level 2. Nice. Alright, just got the third casket. Let's see what we got. Hmm, that was kind of expected though. Got a uh, 9 total now. Alright, this is chest number 4. I don't know, I'm feeling some right now. Like, I've just been too lucky, so let's see what we get. Sarah Doman page. 4k clue, but it was my 10th clue. And also got a page. Alright, this is going to be the 5th and final clue. I think this will be my 11th clue in a row. Oh, and also... Off that, I got from 30 to 32 with even. So let's see what we get. Oh, cool. Armadillo robe legs. I got two robe legs. And, uh, six more than teleports. That seems kind of crazy, though, to get two robe legs. I'm going to go ahead and sell, like, sell all this and see what I ended up with. Alright, I'm going to keep these legs in there overnight, see if they sell. But the rest of it sold for 170k, so... That was over at least 200k and only took me like 45 minutes probably. So it was definitely worth it. That puts our cash stack up to almost 600k. Just sold some random stuff and ended up using the money to buy some dragon bones. So I got 177 total and I'm going to see what prayer level that gets me to. Alright, this is the last of the bones right here. Ended up getting 45 prayer and uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's a good like, little accomplishment for like low levels. It'll be nice for Slayer and everything. Also, Dragon Slayer and Monkey Madness. It'll help out a lot. Alright, just got 40 fishing. 
Uh, I think now I'm going to get 40 cooking. And then get back to some quests and everything like that. Just kind of want to take a little break. Do a little skilling, you know. Just got 40 cooking to match up for the fishing. And also 709 total. I think now I'm about to do a Dragon Slayer. I think it's time to do it. It'll give me 40 defense and I'll be able to finally wear my green dehyde body. So yeah, it'll be definitely worth it. Finally just got Dragon Slayer. 18k strength experience, 18k defense, and also got me up to 55 quest points. Man, what'd it get me to? Let's see. Okay. 44 strength, so I got 4 strength levels in 40 defense. I feel like that's like the way to end the episode. I might be right back. Hold on. Man, check this out. Full rune, rune scimitar. Got the range switch. Looking like the free-to-play god over here. Dude, this looks awesome. Level 54 combat. I did so much in two, two episodes. 720 total. I think next episode I'm going to go for Monkey Madness for the Dragon Skimitar and also work on some recipe for disaster. Like, got to get gloves out early on. And I definitely need to get back to agility. So I've got a lot of stuff to work on. Like, these videos are, like, awesome to make. And I just am really loving all the support I got. Like, I got up to 4,000 views on my last video. And that's, like, 10 times what I expected. So I just really thank y'all. Ended up with 330 subscribers, which is insane. Like, I'm very lucky. And I can't wait to get up, get working on the next episode. Thank you all again.